What's up, everybody? It's your boy, True Wolf God. And welcome back to another reaction. And a another video, you know, tight shit. What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Um, we are, uh, we are, we're, we are, uh, we are dealing with some, um, We're back again with another video type shit, like, you know what, just, just, just like, go grab your sheet already, like, what y'all, we... my bad, chat, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, go ahead and grab your snacks, tight shit, grab your drinks, and uh, I'll be here waiting. So like, you back now or? All right, let's let's, let's get into it. You don't, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be all right, I'm not gonna. No, yeah, no. He, uh, I'm not gonna whip your dad's ass now. He's a fan. Huh? Hey, hey jump me. You are a douchebag. That's right, a douchebag. <laughs> the little prick couldn't beat his way out of a paper bag, let alone beat up the kid's dad. And even if he could, what type of tough guy starts a fight of a guy that's with his kid? Only the most unlikable little prick on the internet. Jack Doherty is one of the most hated YouTubers on the platform, and it's completely deserved. From disrupting local Walmarts by shutting off the power. That means aisle 14, aisle 16. I do it, do it, do it, do it. Yo. To purposefully harassing random strangers on the street, only to hide behind his bodyguard. <laughs> Are we good? Uh, tight shit. I wasn't even that affected what? by it. Well, probably gonna do. What you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. The little donut still going around harassing people and starting fights with people on the street for content. But you can just tell that his day is gonna come soon. He's gonna bump into the wrong person. He's gonna get knocked out or worse. <laughs> You good on me? Why you so angry? You sound angry. You sound angry. You good? Bro, just relax. Bro, watch out, bro. Watch out. How many people? Yeah, four people, bro. 1.2k, and for that you're faking 150 pound weight. This is fake? You didn't even lift one rep after Did I attempt it? Did I attempt it? But you're not progressive. Did I I'm attempt it? Body. I'm an okay. IBB pro. I understand that. I'm trying I, to I believe you. you. Oh, I, I don't need any help. I appreciate it, though. Oh, because you think I appreciate it. How you say that? Did I say that? What's the There's problem? No problem. Yeah. It's not. When you're around, look, he's an IBB pro, so am I. Okay. They're bikini and wellness IBB okay. pros here who actually work. I understand that. Okay, so what? I failed. Teach them to do it better. I failed, bro. You, hey, how about you build your own community and you teach them? There we go. That's amazing, bro. I'm trying to help you. I love that, bro. I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll help you rock away. No, nah, I'm still working on it, bro. <laughs> what an emotional little donut getting this triggered by another man's That's workout. Wild. The only way to describe this man is... Beta! Alright, boys, this VIP ballet literally costs $80 just to park it here. Oh, nobody gives a shit! The only reason why I park it here is just so these people, they just look at me and I can tell I pretend they're looking at me. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? He likes attention. Give me energy. Why not? If you just keep staring and then eventually they'll look at you, right? Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, one woman's looking at me. All right. Now <laughs> yeah, nobody looked, you fucking drip. Five hours later. Alright, so y'all just seen that corny ass shit. 
Wait, so so he get wait, so he he gets himself stuck in there and he I'm confused, I'll be honest with you. I'm confused with what was the the, the 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 goal of that. Um But I Oh yeah, he locked it. Wait, <laughs> Garrett, take your shirt off. Hold on, pause. Come on, Garrett. Hold on, hold on. I, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad for for pausing again. But I just realized that he did lock it. You know, so he had the lock on. He had the key on him. So, cause never mind. Let's continue. Take your shirt off, Garrett. This guy loves making men take their tops off. Come here. I'm gonna grab this guy in the pink hat. Come here. Steve, take your shirt off. Oh, pause. Come on, Steve. Steve, come here. Garrett and Steve are getting humiliated, so this guy can use them for content and promote his shitty course that he's saying. You didn't look horrible. Go strip down, butt yeah. naked in the hey, fucking mirror. Yo. Let's get real honest. Hey, yo. Hey, what yo. The fuck? Also, don't even think about working for this guy unless you got a six pack. You're not allowed unless you got a six pack. I'm gonna tell you this, my entire company, my entire team, if you don't have a six pack, you don't work for us. What? See these short shorts? I love it. I'm like, I need them shorter. My wife's like, no. Sean Strickland said in the comments, what little kid did you steal those clothes from? <laughs> Here's how much it costs to have an attractive girlfriend. Weekly dates, $200 or $800 a month or $10,000 a year. Quarterly vacations, $2,000 or $8,000 a year. Holiday and birthday gifts, $5,000 a year. I'll be honest with you, that is wild activity. But that's some wild, wild activity. Wild activity. And um, to, to clarify, Nah, it doesn't matter. I don't really need to. Um, but um, that's just some wild, just some wild money spending. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love my bit. I don't love my bit that much. <laughs> Miscellaneous, about three thousand dollars a year. Total, Damn. about twenty six thousand dollars a year. So if you're making fifty thousand dollars a year after taxes, couldn't even afford to keep an attractive woman within your life. She may even cheat on you with a baller. What a load of crappy crap crap. I promise Damn, you, now right. you don't have to spend this much money to keep uh -huh. an attractive woman. Damn right. You got me. <laughs> you got me fucked up. <laughs> Woman actually wants to be if you doesn't care about how much money you spend. If you're spending this much money, it's because you're a simp and she's taking the piss. I will never get married, but if I do, I'm definitely not doing this one thing. And that is kneeling for the proposal. Mm -hmm. I know it's tradition. I know it makes for a cute picture, but let's think logically for a moment. You're kneeling, asking for permission to provide and protect your woman for the rest of her life in the most submissive way possible. As a man, your woman should always be looking up to you. It ain't that deep. You're not less of a a man if you get down on one knee to propose yes. to a woman once in your life i don't even want to get married but if i saw one of my friends getting married and get down on one knee i wouldn't think oh man he's less of a man he's a simp now anybody that splits the yes. bills is straight wild geek if my wife had five of her girlfriends come with us on vacation i would every meal i'd have to pay for it. i pay every time doesn't matter who's there they don't split the bill yeah fellas if you don't pay for your wife's friends who've probably never even bought you a drink you're a geek. It's the plan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to Columbia, mm -hmm. gotcha, get one gotcha, pregnant gotcha. there. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm, I'm going to go to Haiti with my people from go get a, a baby there. Then I'm going to go to Africa, get one there. Right, Australia. Right, I'm going to just populate right. the f***ing world. No, it's, it's better to do it that way, though. Hey, let's start a podcast, bro, so we can tell men to have babies or women they barely know in countries they barely know so their kids can grow up without dads. That's a great idea. Probably one of the most famous in Miami at this point. So if I ask you what do you do for a living, are you going to say you're a fitness coach? When, when people ask me what I do for a living, I say my name is Wes Watson. I, I have a penthouse right here that's the most expensive penthouse in Brickell right now. So Wes, you're one of the most legendary guys in Miami. Let me just correct one thing. You live in the Brickell house. It's not the most expensive penthouse in downtown Miami. It's actually not even on the water. So I don't even know what you're talking about. Is it the most expensive rental penthouse in Miami that's furnished? Where are you coming off saying that? And then now you're you're the self-proclaimed most legendary guy in Miami. Well, what about the Moss family? And what about George Perez? What about them? They're not legendary. They didn't build the skyline. They didn't create the port.
work. Come on, Wes. You gotta stop talking a bunch of shit. Why do you work out with your Rolex on? Because you gotta tell time. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Why is time important? Because rich people buy time. Poor people waste time. Poor people go to the gym. They have all the time in the world. They drive to the gym. They, they get traffic. They have to park their car, talk to a lot of people, get distracted, get back in their car, drive back to their office. Bro, what are you talking about, man? You're holding a phone, you posy little prick. That tells the time. Stop trying to flex your Rolex and make out to teenage boys that you're rich so they buy your shitty little car. I was confused too for a second. <laughs> I don't know why I confused my ass. I, I got I got so confused with like You have a phone. <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. And then, not only that confused me, I was like, was that wrong? <laughs> I was questioning what I was thinking. Of course. We'll keep saying I'm changing, but to be honest, Don Perignon's just a normal thing for me, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do after Don Perignon R2. Woo! I make more than a footballer, and I don't have to do anything. A footballer has to go training for hours and hours a day. And I just get up, roll out of bed, make a few videos winding you up, and then just go back to sleep. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Do not believe the majority of these fools that you see on the internet, because most people with real money don't go around bragging about it on podcasts. Step one, rent a Lambo. Step two, rent a mansion on Airbnb. Step three, bring all your outfits and shoot every shot you'll use for the next year of you standing next to your mansion and Lambo. Step four, fake your Shopify statistics by manually adding in every order to make these dashboard pages seem real even when you refresh the page. Step 5. Make a video promising people 30k in a month, telling them how you were just like them when you started and you figured it out, and they can too if they just buy your course for $997. Step 6. They buy your course and realize it's a scam, but that's where Step 7 comes into play. Pay them referral bonuses to recruit other students and to give your course 5 star reviews. They'll only post positive things and that'll make it seem even more legit to help you get even more students. You know how many girls you f*** or no? Yeah. Oh, you have 436. Another, like, 436. <laughs> yeah. Is, I, it, is there stuff that I know the number? So like no. it might be more or less. There, there might be. So what happens is, what happens is you lie through your teeth to try and look cool and be liked, but you end up looking like a muppet. And also, even if you had slept with over 430 people, it's disgusting. You need to go to doctor, bruv. Why do men cheat on, on tens with twos? Yeah. Sometimes twos are a lot of fun. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. That is without a doubt. The dumbest thing I've ever heard. Fucking idiot. Bro, cheating on a 10 with a 2 is like drinking piss instead of beer. Damn right. Damn fucking right. I'm not gonna lie to you. Damn fucking right. He's not wrong with it. He's not wrong with it. It's uh, it's some, some wild activity. <sighs> some wild activity. I'm not gonna lie to you. Cheating is wild already. You're like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Cheating is wild already. But like, don't know what two? Why you have a tennis? That's insane to me. It's like, why? What's the point? <laughs> but like, other than that bullshit, bro, other than that bullshit, uh, yeah, uh, we're done. We're done here. You know, Get the fuck out of. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Go watch some other videos I got. Nah. I'll see y'all. Be safe. Much love to all y'all. Have a good watch y'all day or night. Just make sure to tell someone you love them. All right.